September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. At one point, doctors thought that this month's honoree from Red Lake Falls had exhausted all of his options in his cancer fight, which makes where he is now all the more incredible. Here's Caitlin Alexander. I like to handle the puck and shoot the puck. 11-year-old Alex Gullingsrud is relatively new to the sport of sled hockey, but he's carving a name for himself on the ice, keeping his family on their toes, too. Shoot pucks at the wall up there, standing by. Sure, Alex has a sense of humor, but he's also a fighter. He's faced the worst possible prognosis and experienced a miracle. Alex was eight when his health story began. Halfway through the summer, he kept saying, my leg hurts, my leg hurts. A few trips to the chiropractor led to an x-ray, which led to multiple hospital trips and eventually Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Osteosarcoma, with a large tumor in his pelvic bone and a tumor that had metastasized to his lungs. We were just very honest with the kids and we said, you just have to pray. Chemo came first, but without good results. Alex's family and doctors made an incredibly difficult decision. He'll amputate his leg, his right hip, and then later on down the road have surgery for the one in his lung. He just had to say this is what they have to do to save his life. Alex went through a revision surgery and more chemo, but a scan of his lungs by then showed numerous tumors. And when the doctors came in, they pretty much told us it's only time before it'll overtake his lungs and his body. Parents Nikki and Mike had conversations with their son no parent should ever have to have. Alex had said, so I'm gonna, I'm only got a couple more months on earth with my body here, and we said, yep, and he had asked if he'd go to heaven, and yep. But one day, the phone rang. It was a member of Alex's Mayo Care team. Her voice sounded excited. She's like, we got results and we usually don't have news like this. This is unreal. The original tumor in Alex's lung was just that, a tumor, but everything else was an infection. The miracle the Gullingsrud family and countless others had prayed for. We've always said we've been blessed with the best. There's no weak link and very fortunate because without them, it'd be a different story, but. After more chemo. Everything was clear. And so it's been, he's been a year cancer free which has been amazing. Alex took up sled hockey, the first in his family to take to the ice. It wasn't long before he was standing out. 2023 Disabled Athlete of the Year. If you ask him how he felt. Shocked. <laughs> but so deserving, living his miracle every day. Every minute I think he's got to have courage in what he does. Well, by the way, Alex was eight at the time of his diagnosis. Two weeks ago, he turned 11, and right now he's focusing on getting faster with the help of a running blade. And we are supporting Alex, Alex Strong, by wearing these bracelets. All right, so if there's a kid with courage, Caitlin wants to know about it, email her at kidswithcourage at ktc.com.